Hello. Why are there so many things to click? Hello. Welcome to The Sims Online. Enjoy updating so you can click the jam table and make me six dollars. Hello. Again. Did I mention? Should I just play SNES games? I was going to play The Sims Online, and then I realized The Sims Online is not very good. But I have the Super Nintendo here, and I don't know if it's actually hooked up to anything. Uh, does that work? Oh, I got new speakers. They just sort of sound like audio. Sometimes you get new speakers, and it's like... A whole new thing, and the balance is weird, and you have to get used to how they sound, but these just sound... Whoops! Didn't mean to re-shrink that window. These just sound like music. And that's good. Oh, that's right, I never finished Chrono Trigger. Could do that. Can plug in even more games. Oh wait, where's the input switch. Oh no, where's the chat? There it is. The one window I can just talk to Kevin. Direct connection. The only purpose of this window is from Kevinsville, Hawaii into Boston. I was playing Dreamland 3. Realized it's not very good. Could play Paneled Upon. Man, I was really bummed out that those Sega Genesis controllers that came with the mini Genesis are not good. Either that or just the Genesis always had a bad feeling controller. Mediocre D-pad. I just didn't notice because I was eight. Probably younger, to be honest. Chat, when did you get your first video game? Device related object. Oh god, no, I'm doing this all the wrong way. Oh god. So sorry, I'm marginally stoned. Please don't judge me. Very much. Playing Doom on the PC. 
I don't think I've ever actually played Doom. It's one of my many secret shames. But no, like, even better, I've only played Shex Quest and I haven't played Doom. Which, like, if you had to guess which of these games I played in combination, that one is probably the most on brand. Oh, I think I have the game audio up way too high, don't I? I haven't done this for a bit, so I don't remember how high all the little bits of the interface have to be in relation to each other so you can actually hear it. Is that too loud? It's probably too loud. Let's turn that back down. Maybe down like there. watching some of the Jeff Gerstmann solo stuff, just because for some reason every now and then I want to watch Jeff Gerstmann, and specifically only Jeff Gerstmann, play Call of Duty. Let's move that microphone. Or like Madden or something. access to. Play Shadow of the Colossus. Which I guess I can probably emulate. But that's too much effort. Too much effort to play a game that runs at like 15 frames per second. Oops. Oh no. It's not going great. No, it's just you, Kevin, I guess. The people saw the uh, Sims Online preview icon and just immediately bailed. Like, oh god, not another self-loathing Sims Online stream. Where I have no items, no space to put anything else in the lot, and I just click around in it for six hours. <laughs> understand why people would not want to watch that. Though they should. I heard old character. Yeah, but also I should just play new video games. Play, um... America's Army version 2.5. Replay that SF Extraction map. Oh, you're writing your annual self-review. I had to do one of those. It's very weird writing like, Dr. Tropler did this and that. I'm so good at lab maintenance and to have a cheerful disposition for all involved. Which I might have lied about that to some extent. Dr. Monotone is the most miserable postdoc we've ever had. Lab notebooks just consist of the word die written out repeatedly. Between, like, calculations of molarity. You like writing about yourself? Yeah, it's weird. I still don't understand why you have to write your own. self-review. Unless it's just, like, oh, your boss is too lazy. Like, surely they don't intend for you to write 
like in the third person about yourself. I was required to write my own, yeah. And I did it too. I mean, maybe it's not like an official requirement and maybe my boss just wanted me to do it for him, but... I could dig it up at some point. I absolutely wrote about how good a scientist I was. Today I plugged in a mouse and then worked on a presentation about this software I figured out that no one else knows how to use. Just sitting there using an open office, not PowerPoint. Not underscore PowerPoint. Putting screenshots into it and then just having it crash over and over. And it's like, oh, good news, we auto-recovered it like a slide and a half ago. No, that's not the mode. Oh man, I had a bioinformatics class once. Something like Clustal W or Custal or something, and like a bunch of Unix commands for needle, and I don't remember. I got an A in it. Concatenated things like a champ with a command prompt. And then I forgot all of it. Clustal W, there you go. I'm hoping that's still in use. Because I'm sure any bioinformatics I might have learned in like 2013 have just vaporized completely from my brain. It's still in use. Oh man! I'm gonna make a triumphant return to bioinformatics. All my decade-year-old Unix commands. No, nothing I did is all that exciting. It's mostly just, oh, we have a whole bunch of money and we bought this software. Uh, you have to figure out how to use the software. And I did! And now I have to take a thousand screenshots of the interface and point to it and say, click this and then that to do this. Which is the getting not paid to write a strategy guide for someone else's software. Want to get another degree? No, please. That's the last thing. I don't know how to live a life outside of academia, but I have to stop getting more degrees. <laughs> Gotta figure it out. Instead of just trying to determine all of my self-worth by how many pieces of paper I have. I need a piece of paper that says I'm good at paneled upon. 98 Degrees is a boy band, not a life goal. God. Like, back when it was the era of boy bands, and everyone just had, like, stupid playground names for each of them, like... Oh, I don't know, like, End Stink. Or some other ones that I can't come up with. Our crappy playground moniker for 98 Degrees was 98 Diseases. And I don't know which one of us came up with it, but it's also so bad. <laughs> and yet also very funny. Google and find like 10 million hits for 98 diseases and it turns out every child just called them that. I mean, what did you and your friends call 98 disease er, degrees? I can't name a 
single Simple Plan shirt or song. But it was just like a guy with a guitar and a black t shirt or something. I don't remember anything about that band except that I think it existed and maybe was used in an ad for Target. Or seems like the kind of band that would be used in an ad for Target. Is that from the 90s? The early 2000s? No one's replied to anything I've said in the last five minutes, so... <laughs> Hopefully someone's following this conversation, because I'm certainly not. Chat, come back. Please, somebody has to laugh at 98 diseases to tell if you're actually watching. Or at least comment on it. It's a lot of diseases to just leave untouched upon. Got chat. Probably gonna say the same exact thing next time I stream Oregon Trail. Like, oh, we got typhoid. Hey, that reminds me of what we used to call this boy band, 98 Degrees. In the same way that every child has a derisive name for boy bands. And then, like, five minutes later, we get back to playing Oregon Trail. Until I get enough people to laugh at 98 diseases. <laughs> it's the 99th, I don't know. It's a different boy band. are actually in the Oregon Trail. If somebody said 99, I'd probably believe them. That sounds reasonable. No, it's more than three. Oregon Trail 2. I don't know how many. Probably can't name nearly enough of them to get a good guess. How many names are in that game, but... or how many diseases are in it. But probably, like, if you count, like, Broken Arm, Stuff that appears in the status menu, like 30? 35? I'm always impressed by how many things that game has. So it having a whole bunch of diseases seems like it'd be par for the course. I have the manual here. I didn't bring every book with me from my grad school apartment, but I did bring the Oregon Trail Player's Guide. So that's it, at least. 
I don't remember this guy you're talking about. Who could read out things from the strategy guide? I mean, I did that. Maybe it was the person who sent me the strategy guide. Oh, no, I don't have the MRE. I'm sorry. I know I promised I would eat it live on stream, but like many things, I've let you down in doing that. Although I did see um, G. Schultz come back to YouTube to review more MREs. checked on his channel in ages. It always kind of bothered me how we just pull out the cigarette and then smoke it in them. It's like, Steve, no. Don't do it. I'm watching a man die live on YouTube taking a drag of these cigarettes. Is it? I mean, Bob's a winner. He has two homes and a carload of friends and a record store. I mean, this is like the Frank Grimes episode of The Simpsons where somehow food use Bob just has everything. And the rest of us people who eat at a table have nothing by comparison. I guess his life is never weighed down by having to make business or business decisions like anywhere and arriving hungry or something. Just spends every moment in the car and then has more time to grind. God damn it, where am I doing this? That goes there. Do you think Bob is on trend to get 10 million subscribers? What is he at now? Like 30,000? 23? 36? It's probably not more than 50. I feel like Kevin knows the number off the top of their head. I'm amazed that you just have like new Bob news every time you come into the chat. 63.8 That's a lot Actually sold out Is it no longer a niche thing to know food use Bob? There are so many other YouTubers that just occupy the eat and review or uh, eat and review food grossly in your car paradigm. It's kind of nuts to believe that it's not just Bob anymore. It's like, oh, we're going to invent YouTube. Here's my very first video. Me and my family and friends at the zoo. I wonder what they're going to use it for. And then it's just sad, bored people watching other sad, bored people eat food while they eat food. And that's why we've invented the internet. Maybe if 
will somehow discover immortality. He probably will. I mean, you think of all the preservatives that man's eaten. If any of them, or if any of us are close to, um, you know, immortality to any degree, it's probably Bob. the one human that, like, anthropologists 2,000 years in the future come across. It's like their only reference for the rest of humanity. A whole culture that ate in their cars lived in Scranton, Pennsylvania. <laughs> they can bring him back easier. Just gonna have... Jurassic Park, except it's a bunch of scientists trying to create food use Bob, and then they make a park for everyone else to eat in their, like, late 90s Ford Explorers with his face painted on in a park. Oh, I know he has more subscribers than I do. I think I have, like, 30... 31.6 thousand, actually, I think is the number. Which it shows me every time I'm on YouTube. It's not that I'm vain enough to remember. I mean, intentionally at least. I was kind of surprised that posting the smile mix did not make a bunch of people unsubscribe. Like, oh, I forgot I subscribed to this channel because I wanted more Shrek MIDI. And now they're just posting old man music. and food use Bob. Well, that's good at least. I wish I can just give them all to food use Bob instead. Give my channel to promote food use Bob and combined we have almost 100,000 subscribers. I'd like to buy a 33% share, 33% stake on food use Bob. Hello, sharks. This is my new business plan. Think of all the money we could possibly make if we lock down the man eating gross food in his car demographic. The grossest man eating the most amount of food in his car. Food use Robert. Oh yeah, no, we can collab and make... Like, here's a Bob episode where all the music is just the piano midi. It'll be great, and we can, like, end it with Bob eating an actual piano. Like a player piano, and you just hear it being played as it goes down the whole time. I don't know what I'm talking about, I'm sorry. No! Don't do that. Oh, I initially thought that said fans were fans of Bob and George, in which case I was going to say, that's great. Nobody talks about Bob and George enough. The webcomic. And I remembered we're still talking about food use Bob, and that's probably a downgrade. George. That'd be pretty good. Just have them both dress up as Mega Man characters. Oh no, Keith liked it. 
Does anybody know, um... Ever see the Try Guys on YouTube? Hang on. I gotta pause this. There's one character on the Try Guys who just eats... a bunch of food, and he's got a really large mouth. And his name is Keith. And sometimes I just watch him eat food and am bewildered by the size of his mouth. And can I paste this image in here? No, I guess I'll have to screen cap it. And I have like, I've taken so many pictures of Keith and Keith's face and his large mouth that Google Photos is like, Hey, we recognize this as a person. You could search like 40 photos of Keith's mouth that I took. And I took a picture of this one, I guess. And my iPhone keeps showing it to me in one of the home widgets for photos. And it labels them all these things. And this time it's November at home and it's just that Keith face. <laughs> and then I tweeted it at him. And... Apparently he liked it if I were signed in, but I got the Keith seal of approval, I guess. I'm going to consider that permission to keep taking pictures of his face. Did I watch the Taco Bell live a few nights ago? Oh god, I actually did. I don't know why. It kind of just makes you miss the editing. It's like a man slowly degrades by eating like salty or not salty. I'm sorry, uh, soggy tacos for like an hour and a half. Anyway, I'm glad he's seen the picture I have of his face on my phone. and a half. I mean, it seemed like a fun idea. Like, if I had one of every menu from Taco Bell, I'd probably also stream myself eating it. But... After a while, it was just... I don't know. It really needed the editing. Then you just realize you're just watching a man eat tacos for an unbroken hour and a half. God, I'm so bad at this. I wonder if I'm any better at Puyo. Probably not. Oh, there it is. Imagine 40,000 people in a stadium gathering to watch me eat a taco. That'd be great. I'd make some joke about it and just the whole stadium would erupt into laughter. Just because of the quip I made while eating a taco. I don't know why we currently don't have that. I bet. I bet you could absolutely like, take a famous person and put them in the middle of a stadium and just have them eat a taco. And people would want to go there. And everybody would laugh and everybody would clap on cue. Because they want to go and watch, like, Conan O'Brien eat a taco. Or whoever people watch on TV. Tim Heidecker. Actually, I would probably make an effort to go and see Tim Heidecker eat a taco. Live on some stadium nearby. Oh, it's 
it's not gonna work. Or is it? Not actually work. You didn't put a blue on there. Or a green. No, it's green. Mystery Science Restaurant 3000. Yeah, we just need like 24 7 commentary on whatever it is we're currently doing. You just need a Twitch streamer to commentate your life. That's what we're going to use those Google Smart Glasses for. Let somebody else watch a first person view and provide commentary over the things you do at any given moment. you'd be down. I mean, there's no reason they can't. I haven't fleshed out the surface so well in my head at the moment that I see any reason why we'd have to make it, like, uplifting commentary. Instead of just watching somebody go about their day and just totally dragging them. Look at this guy use the bathroom! He's not even washing his hands for government mandated seven seconds. A bunch of people in chat spam the dirty hands emote, which has gotten millions of uses by now. Oh, it's not gonna work. Hello. Oh, what I lost! How did I lose? What did I do? I thought I was winning. What's the rewind button? That one. Oh, I see. Oh, there's not even a green on it. This combo doesn't even do anything. Chat, why'd you let me build this? It's not even a... anything. At some point, I used to be good at this game, and completely forgot. Oh, oops. Throw it out. Bye. 